Hey everybody, I'm Matt from the Creator Team and you're watching our weekly workshop. Today I'm pumped up because we're going to do something a little bit differently. We are actually going to start breaking our project. Okay, so I want to show you guys how to debug a lot of common errors by going through and breaking a ton of stuff in this app and fixing every piece. So we're going to go through, for instance, uh, CSS properties that we don't think are working. We're going to go through not injecting things properly, uh, maybe using some directive stuff. We're going to do a ton of stuff just to try to break this app. So uh, as you can see, I've started out with a basic side menu app, and I wanted to start out by debugging one of the most common things, which is not uh, or having CSS that we don't think is actually taking effect and using our kind of CSS window over here, the debugger, to figure out what is going on with that actual CSS. So the first thing I want to note is we are going to preview this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we're going to preview. And I just want to figure out what element this is. So let's look. This is an ion item, right? So let's go to our theming and let's say that I want to make an item. So actually, let's make this a custom class. So let's just make this like red background, okay? And let's do background color is red. Okay, and we are going to save that sucker. So we've got red background here. And let's add this to our home button classes, red background. Now, as we can see, nothing happened in our designer window. We don't have a red background and nothing happened in our actual display either. So yet again, let's right click on home and inspect this and let's start to dive in and figure out why this element didn't get a red background. So here's the ion item that we put the class on, right? And we can see the background color red, the red background class actually is working on the ion item. It's showing up. Uh, in Chrome, if this was being overwritten by anything or if it wasn't being applied, it would be struck out. There'd be a line through the whole thing and it'd be grayed out. But it is working. So as we can see here over in our DOM tree that got generated, you know, we have a list, we have an ion item, but actually inside this ion item, we have an A tag, an actual uh, signifying a link because this list item is a link. The inner portion is an A tag. So that A tag we can see actually has a background color of FFF. So let's try changing this up a little bit and see what work, if uh, if we can fix it. So let's take this and say, no, you know what? Red background, but then inside of that, we want, if I could type right, we want an A tag. Okay, and let's save that. And let's preview it. And we still <laughs> don't get that actual color. So let's figure out why. So here's our A tag in there, and we can see, okay, now red background A is on there. It's applying the class to the right element. We're getting background color red, but it is struck out by our browser. Now, why is that? Now, as you know, this tree is kind of applied in order. So things at the bottom are uh, have already been applied, and then things up further this list start to override previous options that are in here. So we can actually see that dot item complex dot item content. Okay, has a background color of white that is taking precedence over the background color red that we set. So this is a built-in Ionic style that's taking precedence instead of this. Okay, so let's go ahead and just to be on the safe side here, let us go like that. Actually, you know what? Let's just try just dot item item content. Was that it? I already forget. All right, so that's saved. And now we get a red background color by switching it to dot item content. So just red background didn't work. Using the A tag didn't work, but overriding the actual class that Ionic sets that background color on the A tag using dot item content works to get us that background color red. So let's just double check. It shows up in here. It shows up okay in our preview as well. We have now successfully overridden this style to be black, not just gray because I just clicked on it. So there we go. That red is back. Red background item content overrides. Now we can see that the old background color white has been crossed out. So through this process of working with CSS, sometimes it'll look like things just aren't working right. But the reality is that maybe it's just on the wrong class or something else is overriding it. You kind of got to spend some time in the actual debugger, the CSS thing here, uh, to make sure that your content is getting styled appropriately. 
All right. So we got a red background on a list item. That was probably one of the most complex things we were going to try to break today. Uh, let's move on and break something else. So let's go to our home page here and let's let's do a direct a special directive on an input. Okay, so let's here's an input, right? We're going to do uh, uh, let's do password. Okay. And we can uh, we can even change this to a password type, right? But then let's go down and let's add a scope variable. And here's scope.show password equals false, right? And then let's add a directive to this input. Let's do ng show show password. Okay. So theoretically, what we have tried to do here is set a scope variable to false. And so we can hide it and get rid of this whole password input, right? Now let's do a preview. So as we can see, that didn't work. Okay. The password is still here. And actually, the input is gone. So just the input disappeared. I can't click here, I can't type anything, but the whole thing that we probably wanted to get rid of is still there. So now when you're working with directives and maybe something isn't working quite right, um, your number one place to go is to click this little button here and see where the directive has been added. So by default on inputs for things like ng model, blah, 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 all that stuff you'd normally use, we actually default your directive placement to be on the input. So if you want to hide this entire thing, you actually want to move it to the label, okay, the completely outermost, save and close that. And now when we preview, that scope show password false should get rid of the entire input for us. So whenever you're working with directives and they don't appear to be working right, remember just open this up so you can see where it's actually being placed and make sure it's being placed on the element you really want it on. Uh, I normally, after every time I add a directive, just kind of click that, look at it, make sure it's right, and then close it right away. All right, let's let's uh, let's break some other stuff. Okay, here is menu.home, right? So let's go to cart. And let us take a button and let's assign this button to ng click, go to home. And then in cart over here, let's do scope dot go to home is a function. And we want to do state dot go, right? So state dot go to whatever the state was from our home page. We can copy that here and do menu dot home. All right. So this Let's just say you're working with code, right? We know we need to use state to use go, and we're going to preview our cart page. Click this button, and we should go home, right? So let's preview that. Click it, and we get a nice big fat error over here. And as you can see, we actually clear the console every time you do preview for you, so you can easily see what errors are being generated by your app. Um, so right now we got reference error state is not defined. That's our error. We can see, you know, this whole tree. If you click this little VM804 blah, 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 yours will say random stuff. We can click that. It'll actually show you uh, the section of the code that that error has come from. Okay. So it'll show you what's been generated for the code base here. So let's go here. Boom. And let's figure out what's wrong. So it was undefined. That's the issue that we have to fix. So the most common thing for undefined is actually not injecting a specific service from Angular. So let's take this state and let's make sure that we put it in the function. So we handle that injection for you if you put the actual name in the function declaration. So function scope is getting injected, state params, state. Now we can use state.go. Hopefully when we do this, it will actually navigate. There we go. We navigated. We got our nice back button. Everything worked. We did not blow up and get an error. All right. What else do we want to break? Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Let's break some modules. All right. So let's add a new JavaScript file down here. And let's just call this uh, awesome.js. Okay. And we're going to call this module awesome. And we are going to in here do awesome, uh, awesome sauce. It's going to be our service. And let's just return an object. Testing uh, is going to be a function. And let's, uh, let's alert testing. All right, so we've got our uh, awesome sauce service here. We've got it in our own module. Let's go to our home page and inject awesome sauce. And we should be able to do awesome sauce.testing and call that right there. So this, whoops, I actually added an S. There we go. You know what? Let's do that. Let's put the S there. 
Let's put some random characters. Save. All right, preview. What's going on? Okay. First of all, we got unknown provider, awesome sauce provider, awesome sauce in home controller. So this straight up tells you we're in the home controller. You tried to inject awesome sauce. We couldn't find the awesome sauce provider. Something went wrong. You know, our entire thing is kind of broke here. You can see there's no header. There's no anything, blah, blah. So like, even if I didn't have the debugger open, if you start to see weird stuff like this, you know, open your debugger so you can start looking at this. All right, so clearly awesome sauce is somehow not being defined. So let's go back here. We have Angular module service awesome sauce. Now, this whole thing is actually in a separate module called awesome. And we can see we've got this important note here, rename my module below and add your module to Angular modules above. Okay, so let's go to code settings, Angular modules, and make sure we actually inject the awesome module. So now that awesome is in our Angular modules, we should be able to preview this and now get that alert. Uh, the reason it showed up before a preview even did is because it's already running and injecting that, right? Okay, so now it's still screwed up. Now, what is it? That reference error blah, 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 is not defined, right? So that was that uh, random stuff that we kind of put in here where it broke our whole thing because of a syntax error or a variable not being defined or something like that. So now we should be able to preview. We'll get that alert from the service and our page will be back to looking like normal being navigatable. Okay, so overall, you've got a module that doesn't, you know, it's not being injected right. Double check, make sure, you know, you've typed the service name right. You've imported the module through code settings, Angular modules, and that everything is happy. All right, what else do we want to break? Let's like, just for fun, break something completely and utterly. Like, let's destroy it. Okay, so let's do something like, let's add some like random text. Now, obviously, you're not going to do this, but maybe you've, you know, deleted this end bracket. Okay, and, you know, let's save that. And let's just see what this does. So you deleted the end bracket. Maybe you've got some code down here. You know, blah, blah, blah. Let's preview. And we get a completely blank screen. So this is the other kind of common debug error you might get is your app doesn't show up at all. Now, as we can see, it shows up in the editor. And normally when things are showing up in the editor, that means on the creator side, it's fine. When you go to preview, we add in all the custom code and it's broken. So we get an uncaught syntax error, unexpected token bracket, right? Uncaught error failed to intentionally module app due to, you know, some crazy errors. Module app is not available. You misspelled it, you know, all this stuff. But let's start off with this top one here, right? And we are going to be able to see that, you know, it's just overall confused. So this is kind of the hardest one to debug because it's just saying, look, we found like a bracket someplace random and we weren't expecting it because before you got all screwed up, you know, it's just, it's very confused. So like, we kind of just got to go through and check like, okay, um, what's going on? Our most common case would be this little red X. So we can see there's an unmatched uh, curly brace, which means we didn't end it. So let's get rid of that. Put our curly brace back, save that. Preview, testing, we got that from our old controller and we are now back to normal again. So overall, there's a lot of different ways that you can break your application and the debugger really is your best friend. So you should be in there working on your CSS styles. You should be in there doing uh, the console logs. Yet again, we'll clear that for you whenever you preview. So hang out in the console. Feel free if you are like in your home controller, uh, let's get rid of this so we stop getting an alert. You can do like console.info, like here's some stuff and then we can do scope.show password. Uh, you know, this console logger is completely available to you. So you can see we preview, here's some stuff, false is the variable for that. So you can use console.log and if it's broken, your errors will pop up here. Overall, it's your best friend. Uh, working in creator is kind of like working locally. You know, we're just showing you your app. Uh, so use those tools that you normally would when developing locally, like the Chrome developer tools or whatever developer tools you're using. So hopefully that was helpful. You know, I just want to teach you guys kind of how to debug uh, in the creator tools. So I will catch you guys next time. Peace.